Gentlemen, Antonio here. Okay, I'm about to head out on a flight and I thought, why not shoot a video, show you guys how I travel light. Now, I'm about to give you guys a number of options. So just to let you know, starting off with these bags, I don't carry this many bags, but I wanna kinda of let you know why I own certain bags, uh, how I use them, and how I make my decisions. So again, this is gonna be more of a practical, I'm not gonna talk so much at a high level, I'm gonna show you exactly what I carry. Now, there are a few items missing. Uh, I actually realized that uh, I need to buy some hair product. I also need to, which I'll just buy when I land in Arizona. Also, I've got three shirts in the wash, so they're gonna be missing. You're not gonna see, and I'll talk about that here in a second. Now, it's not actually worrying me that much. So, let's go ahead and I'm gonna start with the bag. So that's where it starts. Oftentimes, we will fill up the bag we have. So it depends on, you know, and this is for a five-day to seven-day trip. I'm going on a business trip to Arizona. I'm in Wisconsin. Temperature right now in Wisconsin is 35 degrees. It's going to probably be 85 when I hit there in Arizona. So I am not going to be taking a jacket. In fact, what I'm wearing, one of my big rules is to always wear your bulkiest clothing. So I'm wearing my lightweight cashmere sweater. I've got a dress shirt underneath, undershirt. Uh, nice jeans. Jeans are my bulkiest pair of trousers and I'm going to be wearing a pair of driving moccasins actually in the airport and on the plane. They actually have great traction and um, I'll show you those here in a second. But let's start with the bags. So if I was traveling by car, by vehicle, I would probably use this. And this is a garment bag made by Blue Claw. I've used this numerous times. I've talked about it and I can link over to some of the videos in which this thing has saved me from getting my, my clothing getting messed up with maple syrup and all types of other stuff. I've also got their Weekender bag and this is a great bag. What I love about those type of bags right there is that they're not very heavy. They don't have the, the wheels and everything and they can you can put a lot in them. However, I'm going to be transferring over in Chicago O'Hare. Anyone's been to that airport, you got to like walk a mile. So I definitely want something that in it, it has wheels on it. Yeah, I just don't want to be carrying something around. That being said, I've also got this new JW Hume bag. I've been very impressed. And if I was going to go someplace, let's say, and I wanted to impress, this weekend or this duffel bag, I <laughs> this definitely would be something I would take. Uh, but I'm just not going to take it on this trip. Like I said, it comes down to what are my practical needs. And that right here is not going to serve my practical needs. So what am I going to use? Okay, I've got my Genius bag. And you guys have seen me talk about this before like the bag, it's a great carry-on. What I really like is its use of checklists. I'm not gonna get into my checklists here. I am gonna link over them in the article that supports this, but what I want you guys to know is you always wanna work with a checklist. It just makes things so much easier when you have a checklist. And again, I'll give you my packing checklist. I also have a list out of everything I'm about to show you, and uh, so you can link over and purchase it if you want. So let's start with the basics. I've got my underwear. I've got three pairs, and these are gonna be uh, stuck by Rib T. Great company. I've got three rib tee undershirts, different variety. I've got their classic ribbed, uh, the white ribbed, and then this one that's uh, actually a blend, and it's got a really lightweight weave. I love that one. Okay, then I get into my shoes, and so I'll just tell you guys straight out, I expect to be there for over a week, so I am taking workout gear. Got my old running shoes, I need to upgrade them, I know. I've got my Task running shirt. I love this thing. Really, it feels really good when I'm out there running. And I've got my Strong Body Apparel running shorts. They're running lifting shorts. These are my favorite shorts. I'll talk about them in a separate video, but you know, I, I'm just really impressed with this company and love these shorts. I love them so much that I will actually take them over using my swim trunks as an addition. You know, I, you could use these as running shorts in a pinch. I've done it before, but when it comes down to it, I like uh, I like the way the the uh, Strong Apparel fits me in the leg. Okay, so let's get into, what do we got? We got shoes, I got some more shoes. The driving moccasins, I will be wearing those. And then I've got some other ones from Paul Evans. So those driving moccasins are from Paul Evans. Both the Double Monk and the wingtips, the full brogues here, are made by Paul Evans. This is the West. Um, they give me interesting names, but this is a Double Monk. And I wear these because I love them. And they look good and they're very easy to match. All right, so let's talk about neckwear. I've got three ties. I'm gonna have a very casual knit necktie. And then I'm gonna have my dark green with polka dots. And then I'm gonna have a red, blue with small blue and dark blue repeating patterns. And can you guys guess why I wear a red necktie? Have you watched that video? <laughs> okay, so what else do we have here? My jackets. So this jacket I will pack. And this one's very versatile, blue. Notice the pocket square is already packed here. And I've got my business cards inside. 
This jacket I will actually wear on the plane. So I will take it with me. Again, you want to wear as much as you can on the plane so you're not having to put it in your bags. Now let's talk about shirts. So I mentioned there are three shirts missing here. I have my blue stripe, which many of you guys have seen in many of my videos. I've got my solid blue, which actually has, it's not solid blue, it's got a herringbone pattern to it. In addition, I've got a new gray check that I got from Men's Style uh, Lab. And I'd have to say, I really like that check and I'm excited. So three shirts right there. What else do I need? Well, I'm gonna take this white linen cotton. This can, I could wear it as a dress shirt or I could actually wear it as a casual shirt. Kyle over in Thailand sent me this travel shirt. I'm sure I'm testing this out and uh, Libertad apparel. I'm gonna be uh, running that through the ringer and I've got one of my uh, handy chambres. And what I love about this and what you guys hopefully are picking up on is that everything is interchangeable. So. I've got a pair of casual gray chinos. Gray is great because it matches pretty much anything. There is no color in it. Um, and then we have, these are made out of linen. These are dress slacks. And these I can wear with pretty much any of those shirts. Then I have these. These are made from a, uh, what are they made for? Uh, Holland and Sherry fabric. And it's gonna be really nice with either of my jackets. And then the same with this one. I can't wear this with the brown jacket, but it will look great with my blue jacket. Four pairs of socks. Okay, I've got these from Soul Socks, which are fun. Then I've got these right here from Men's Style Lab. And I've got both of these from BlackSocks.com. And uh, yeah, and by the way, you'll see I have no athletic socks. I'm gonna wear those socks. I don't really care what people think. When I pack light, yeah, I'm not gonna take just a dedicated pair of athletic socks. So. I've also got uh, a pair of, you guys have probably seen these before. <laughs> Can anyone guess what these are? No, it's not a garter belt. It actually connects to my shirt, then connects down to my socks and keeps my shirts tucked in. I have a book for reading, Art of Manliness, uh, Man Votionals, love this book. Handkerchiefs, taking two handkerchiefs, so I won't take any tissue with me. If I need something, and this is with the company Tissue, again, I'll link over to a lot of these companies in the article and I'll try to down in the, uh, the, uh, the info below. So two handkerchiefs, an extra pocket square just in case. Now, yeah, you always need a pocket square. I'm gonna take my video cam. Got some uh, collar bones. Got my sunglasses. These are my Maui gems. You've probably seen me wear those before. I have my wallet. And that is by Rogue Wallet, uh, the RFID. It's got, I've got four credit cards. I've got cash, because you never know, about $100 in cash. And I have my driver's license and military veteran ID card. Um, three packs of gum, portable mouse, an empty water bottle. I take this because I don't want to buy water. I can run that through security and then I can fill it up. I've got a clear um, basically cream for polish and it, it's neutral and then I've got a small brush which I'll be able to uh, make, basically take care of my shoes. When it comes to my other little bag that I'll take, I've got two options here. I will use the JW Hume if I'm not taking my laptop or if we've got our Microsoft Surface Pro, uh, but today I'm taking my larger laptop. So I'm gonna be using the Saddleback leather bag and within it, I've got my charger. Actually, this is my extra charger. So I've always got one I keep in here and one I leave here in the office. I've got my connector for my iPhone. I have my iPhone in my pocket. I have my iPhone extra battery pack charger. I've got a pair of earbuds. I have my Marine Corps coin. So if I run into another Marine at a bar, I can always say, hey, do you have your coin? If he doesn't, he has to buy me a drink. I carry some tissue here. Well, you need some, not tissue, but wet wipes. You know what you need wet wipes for. And gentlemen, that is about it. So let me know if you think I forgot something. I probably did as I'm throwing this together, but uh, I will be giving you guys a checklist. Go check out the article. I go into more details and I link over to everything I just talked about. And uh, remember, pack light, pack only what you need. Think ahead, use a checklist. And gentlemen, I'll see you in the next video.